Welcome to our lecture online. In order to help us manipulate these kind of expressions, expressions with radicals or with fractional exponents, we want now to take this example and write it as a single fraction. It's kind of going backwards to what we just did in the previous video. So to do that, we need to find the lowest common denominator. Since there's only one denominator, that then becomes the lowest common denominator. So we can write that as the LCD, in this case, is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. So what we're going to do is if there's an expression or a term that does not have that denominator, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by that denominator. So we're going to spread out the terms a little bit. So this becomes 2, uh, I guess I want my plus somewhere a little further away, plus the square root of 1 minus x squared, and then minus x squared divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. So you might wonder why did I leave all that space? Well, that will become evident uh, in just a moment. So now I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 1 minus x squared, 1 minus x squared. And again, when I cancel these out, I get back my original 2. Here as well, I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 1 minus x squared. All right, once I've done that, notice that I can now write all of these over the same common denominator. So this becomes equal to 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared plus, now this times this, when I multiply and I have two radicals, and what's inside radicals identical, this simply becomes the quantity 1 minus x squared, like this. And then finally, minus x squared, all divided by the same common denominator of the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, can I simplify some things here? Well, I have a 1 minus x squared minus x squared, so this can be written as 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then plus 1 minus 2x squared, because I have two of them, all divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now normally, we don't like to leave it like this. We don't like to leave expressions like this that have a radical in the denominator. For that, we what we call, we rationalize the denominator. But that's something for the next chapter, so we'll do that in chapter 20. Right now, we'll just leave it like that, and then later on, we'll show you how to rationalize the denominator so we don't end up with a radical in the denominator. But at this point, since that was our common denominator, we'll just leave it like that, and that's then the final result.